What is going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching this brand new video, how's everybody doing, I hope everybody has a lovely great day. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Dark Zone East in the Division 2. Now I said in my, like I said in my previous video, I will talk about the Dark Zone a little bit more and about PvP a little bit more. Uh, the PvP matches I did not really play it yet at the moment, I'm gonna cover that into another video. This is the Dark Zone East, Dark Zone South and Dark Zone West, I will do in another video, we'll break it up tell all my feelings about it but now it's going about the dark zone east and a little bit more specific about how dark zone works for the guys who doesn't know for me the dark zone east we went in there with f two friends um for me it felt like maybe a little bit too easy for me coming out of the division number one uh, the dark zone had something that the ai was pretty good in there that uh, you were on your tiptoes to watch around and you could not trust any people, not even PvP people. Um, holy crap. <laughs> Once you meet somebody, you were like scared. You were like, are you gonna kill me? You you try to make a connection as fast as possible with someone because you didn't want to get killed. Of course, when you get killed by somebody or you're gonna kill somebody, you're going rogue, as they call it in here. And it's a choice if you want to go and do that. If you make the rogue, you get some XP for that. But if you die once you are rogue, so when you kill somebody or like against a division, you get a big punishment from a lot of uh, losing XP. And in the uh, division one, it was more about losing keys and all of that too. But good. The Dark Zone. What is the Dark Zone? Uh, the Dark Zone is still a place where the green poison is still active, so it's still contaminated. It's a very good looking area, um, but the loot in there is normally contaminated too. When I say normally contaminated, contaminated, it's a hard word, damn. When I say that, um, it means that you, you need to do an extraction with a helicopter. Uh, you, you, you kill some money or you find a loot box and the, the loot what is inside there it has the virus green poison on there. So you can't just take it out into the real world because you will make the vault infected again. What you will do is you call for a helicopter, the helicopter will come, you will put it on the helicopter, the helicopter takes it away and makes sure that the items or the loot are going to be cleaned up and make up in your stash so you can just pick it up there and just play along with it. Now like I said, normally it works like that because I got the feeling that in this division it doesn't really is like that anymore. We played a couple times, we played like half an hour and maybe we got one or two items were actually contaminated and the rest of the loot, I'm not saying there's not more loot, but the rest of the loot we just could automatically immediately take with us and was clean and we could just play with it and just run out of the contaminated area and it was really weird to me. Because normally when you clear out a landmark and a landmark is in place inside the map where there's like a boss, like a named guy, a couple AIs walking around and you need to clear it and if you do that you get a bunch of XP, pretty good loot and some division tech. And normally when you did that you get like contaminated loot, you would maybe get it as fast as possible to an extraction zone, call in that helicopter and just do that. Of course you need to be careful for the rest of the players inside the map because maybe they wanted your loot too, so they would come to that helicopter as to see the flare point going up and they will come to you, so better be careful, Agent. But in this division, it doesn't look like that. It's really working like that. Of course, there is still loot, but it's contaminated, and you don't really see the stats in there, and that's something I kind of like. Uh, normally, when you picked up the item, you could see, like, hmm, is this better for me or is this worse for me? I don't know yet. But for me now, it looks like you can't see what the loot is. But again, it's not really for the extraction. It could be for just for east. I don't know about the west and about south. But I really hope that this is coming more back. That you really get that feeling that you're scared that you need to get the helicopter. And scared that you're, once you the helicopter is arriving, that somebody can come up and steal your loot. That for me is a dark zone. Going PvP is a very fun concept, I think, in this game mode. Um, it's a risk what you take. Like I said, if you lose the battle once you're in pvp or once you're going rogue you will lose loads of xp but if you kill somebody you will go into a higher rogue status um i think you're like five states and each have a timer what rank up until like five minutes um, you don't want to be that because people will hunt you down and they get loads of xp when they kill you 
And of course, you can say like it's 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 fun to go in there. And for me, it is really it is a fun concept if you just going to be rogue and kill some people, but don't overreact it. Uh, what happened a lot in the Division 1 is that people just constantly went for the same people because they were easy to kill or whatsoever, and I think that's just a sad moment. That is just crossing somebody's game motivation, and for me that was like, I, it happened a lot of times to me, you know? I got killed and I get killed and get killed, and you didn't really have a chance to run back in the freaking dark zone anymore, because those people most of them were in groups of four, you were maybe with one or two, and that's it. You didn't have really a chance anymore to walk around in the dark zone, and that was a very, very big vibe crushing. That was, oh my god, that was absolutely horrible. But it seems to like that this division, this dark zone, it's, zone, it, it, it's working for you once the people are going rogue. Um, there are also some computers around the map inside there. I did not notice. I pressed it. I went rogue just to try it out. And again, I did not even know that I was going rogue. But then there were some turrets around the map. I didn't know they were there too. And they started shooting us, and we just got completely destroyed by the whole team. With the, with the whole team, by just the turrets, not even the PvP people. No, we just got killed by turrets. That was absolutely fun. We had no idea what happened, and I'm still sorry, guys, that I get to get killed. No, I, no idea what happens over there. Now, uh, Dark Zone keys are there to get bigger loot boxes open, and what I think is really, really, really fun is that in the Division 1, Dark Zone keys were pretty rare, and you sometimes you saw a loot box and you were like, oh, I wish I could open it, but you didn't have a key. Uh, you could get them from uh, named, uh, named people inside the Dark Zone, or even buying them sometimes. What well, was absolutely a pain in the ass, but this time they may give you an option that you steal the loot what is inside that big chest. But again, you go rogue because you're stealing. <laughs> That's not good, peeps. That's absolutely not good. And yeah, once again, you don't want to go outside because you know the turrets around there are really, they are really, really strong and really good. They shock you and just they shoot you down. It's over. And of course, you get that mark on your head, so everybody in the map will know that you're there and that you're trying to steal the loot. Good. Um, let's talk a little bit about the map, uh, the Dark Zone East. For me, it felt good. It really felt good. It looks good. It looks absolutely amazing and i can't wait to go into dark zone south and dark zone west but i definitely want to do this with my friends i hope you guys understand the environment and all the poison and everything it looks so good it, the details look so good it really feels like a war zone inside there and not the dark grimy feeling from division one and i understand it's the dark zone so it needs to be a little bit dark but it's already when it's like nighttime or when it's raining, it gives such a different vibe to there. And it's, it's like an open field, a low, open area, but you have just walls around you. The big gate what opens when you, once you do the first mission to open that big giant gate is an absolute blast to go inside there. PvP for me yesterday, there were not a lot of people inside the dark zone, so I'm not sure how that really works out. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I'm definitely gonna try it a couple times going rogue. See what the rewards are for that. Um, see how it feels. See if it's worth it, yes or no. Uh, for me, like I said, there were not... Uh, basically, there were no people walking around inside the dark zone. A little bit disappointment. So, I really want to know from you guys, if you guys walked into the dark zone yet, did you guys saw any people? Because for us, it was nobody there. And the AIs, what is walking around, around there, are super, super weak. I think I used one time my med kit, well, just one time, literally, and for the rest of it, all the landmarks, we just cleared them out, we just got some wacky loot, not the greatest loot, and we didn't, like I said, we didn't have to almost do a dune extraction, we had like one extraction for just one item, and we just keep looking around for my buddy, because he didn't even have an item, so there was not even a point for him to go to the extraction zone, but that was that. Uh, the landmarks look really good, I think there's enough landmarks for just that little dark zone, uh, and again, I really can't wait to go to south and go to west and maybe in the future there will be coming more dark zones What, what do you guys want? Do you guys want more dark zones? Um, can you recommend a dark zone to me? Like what is your favorite if you played already multiple dark zones? If so, please just put down in the comment section below like if you see PvP people So is it annoying enough? Is it can, can you survive against them? Are the turrets more accurate that you know they're saving your ass or is it um a little bit too overpowered the turns around the map. I kind of want to know that from you guys too. Um, 
which Dark Zone do you like the most? Uh, just please let it all know down in the comment section below. I'm going to play a lot more Division. I'm going to make a lot more videos. I want to thank you so guys. Guys, everybody, for the support, uh, press please press the like button. The more likes it gets in the couple, first couple hours, the better it is for the video. And I really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to upload it on a live stream and a lot more. Um, if you guys want to see more videos, please press subscribe. There's a little notification bell that's coming up then. Press that little bell there, too. Please, thank you. And, um, yeah, for me, this was my review about the Dark Zone East and about the Dark Zone in concept. Uh, South and West are coming up. PvP is coming up, more storyline stories are coming up, and I want to say thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.